welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. Since last time, I caught myself in Ninoran and... No, I didn't touch you! Sorry with the dialogue there a little quick, but she's accusing me of touching her! She was just in the grass! I mean, come on! I, I had nothing to do with that! Okay, well, whatever. Looks like she has a little fortune Jigglypuff. That's actually a pretty strong Jigglypuff. Oh, you're trying to disable me, huh? How about I paralyze you, huh, with Thundershock? See how much you can disable me now. Uh. Oh. Uh, that took up a lot more damage than I thought. No, not bad. I'm so used to Pokemon being there. In the first generation game. Uh. Yeah, I guess Charmander would probably be a better choice. Charmander does have a little more defense than Pikachu. Oh, that pound attack. Ah, it hurts. No point in using Growl though, just try to take out Jigglypuff as best you can. She is a pretty hard opponent depending on what kind of Pokemon you have, but overall she only has one, so that last Robin is not too hard to take care of, thankfully. Oh wow, that was close to leveling up. Yeah, that's it. And no, I didn't touch you. Are you gonna apologize to me? You gonna apologize? No. Jerk. How dare you not apologize to me? Accusing me of things I didn't do. Gosh. Better take a rest, huh? Oh, so you came from the Cerulean Tunnel this way, huh? Okay, that's not too bad. Hey, how's it going? Yes, it sure is a boulder badge. Now, oh, well, cool, thank you. You want to become a gym leader like him, huh? Well, keep pursuing your dreams. You'll get it someday. Oh, oh, Rocky Geo, dude. That is, that is not fun, to say the least. Oh, uh, yes, please. I definitely would like to heal my Pokemon. Man, I haven't recorded any uh, Pokemon Leaf Green episodes in quite some time. It's quite refreshing to play this again. Hey, how's it going? Set six Pokemon po Pokeballs in your belt, so you can have six Pokemon with you. Okay. It's like some rule that you can only have six on you at a time. Oh, you got a deal for me, huh? Ooh, a secret Pokemon for 500 Poke Dollars? Uh, no. I don't want a Magic Carp. But thanks. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. I'm not interested in having a magic card. Oh well. Oh. Yeah, Team Rocket's always on the news, aren't they? You have too many Pokemon with you that anymore. Yeah, you could just store some in the PC. That's always uh, quite useful. Alright. I did heal everyone up, didn't I? Oops. Alright, the button's too quick to know what I'm doing. Uh. I guess I'll keep Nidoran and Butterfree in the top of my party for the time being. And I should have some repels that I got. Yeah, I got seven of them. Okay. I wish I got more, but let's use it right when we get inside the cave. Well, inside Mount Moon anyway. So there's going to be a lot of random encounters in here. So we want to make sure we, well, not have to encounter as many. It's less things I have to edit out, and it's not too bad otherwise. At least the place is pretty lit up. Ooh, bullet seed. That's not too bad. Anything over here? Oh, yes there is. Here we can get a paralyzed heal. Now let's see what this guy has to say. Hey, how's it going? Suspicious men are in the cave, huh? Well, how am I suspicious? You'll see me dressed in black and carrying a whip around or a cloak or wearing a Halloween mask or anything. Do I look suspicious? No. No, I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, let's use Peck. Peck against a bug type is pretty, a pretty good idea, in my opinion. I forget to mention if I actually uh, told you guys if I level grinded my Pokemon or not. Because I did grind Ninoran up to level 10 after I caught him in the last episode. And, and, and whatnot. It's been a while, so you have to forgive me on that. Always been busy with projects and stuff that I'm doing. I mean, it's hard when you're working two jobs and trying to do college at the same time takes a lot out of you. And then on top of it, you're trying to get ready to film a big movie. I mean, for me, a movie between three to six grand is a pretty big movie. I, I, the last one I filmed was basically just out of my own pocket type of money. And I only spent about a grand on my last movie. And most of it went into music, obviously. Now there was like feeding uh, people who helped me, buying props, masks, clothes, stuff like that. It was my final confrontation movie. But, you know, movies take a lot of time out of you. You just gotta be careful not to put your health in jeopardy when you work on a movie. Stuff like that. Just 
take your time on getting it done, but also don't like to postpone it too much. That's one of my problems. I postponed my last one, now I'm waiting forever to get one more green screenshot. Eh, but eh, it is what it is. Goodbye, Kakuna! You and your Harden. My goodness, dude. Uses Harden way too much. On another note, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire comes out really soon, and I can't wait for it. <laughs> November 21st, it's coming up. I... Uh, that doesn't work so well. If you're waiting for your friends to find you in a cave, but they're on either side of the cave, or perhaps they're not looking for you... And, oh my gosh. It, it just doesn't make any sense, girl. It doesn't. Oh my goodness. You know, when I was a kid playing this game, it actually made a lot of sense to me. Okay, Nenoran's probably not a good choice for this, uh, this battle. Let's use a... Uh, well... Yeah, let's use Charmander. Charmander's probably a, a lot better of a choice right now. I got a lot of Pokemon, so I'm not too worried about a stronger one trying to knock down my Pokemon's health or anything. Ember and Metal Claw should be a good Really? Sing? Oh, you hate me, don't you? Oh, man. Come on, wake up, Charmander. Wake up. As a girl, when I was a kid, I always thought the things they said was a little weird, but I didn't think too much of it because I was a kid. Oh, that, that did a lot of damage. And then as you, as you get older and you replace all the Pokemon games from your childhood, you realize how much, well, how weird some of the dialogue really is and how repetitive the series is. Well, but you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Thanks for waking up, Charmander. I was uh, waiting for you to do that. Oh gosh, no more. Ah, uh, no more. Woo! You know, let's have you retreat. Let's put Pidgey out instead. Man, this Clefairy! My goodness! Wow, you don't do much damage against Pidgey. I'm like Charmander. Man, this Clefairy is just taking a lot out of my Pokemon right now. My goodness. Yeah, use Growl all you want. See where that gets you. Won't get you anywhere as far as I care. I should probably run back to the Pokemon Center since I'm so close to it. Probably a good idea. That new Charmander is going to get to level 14. Cool, not bad. And we defeated Iris. Uh, good luck waiting for your friends to get here. Very rare fossils here, huh? I want some pretty rare fossils. I mean, who doesn't want a rare fossil, right? You could sell it to a museum, you could keep it for yourself. And as far as the Pokemon game goes, you can revive it. Yeah, you can. I mean, I don't really feel bad for spoiling this game a little bit. Because, you know, most people have played these Pokemon games by now. Or at least anyone who'd be watching a video about this has played this game. So, I don't feel too bad. Oh, there goes one repel. I think it was pretty important I ran back to the Pokemon Center since I was just at the beginning of the cave anyways. Let's go and head down first. Hey, how's it going? Um, excuse me, I did not sneak up on you. I ran right in front of you. So how's that sneaking up on you? Yeah, you're weird too, Super Nerd Joven. Okay. And he has a... a Magnemite. Eh, I should not pack wasn't going to do me any good here. Hmm. Okay. Oh wait, no, I don't want an item. Ah, there's not really much Pokemon that's good against the uh, Magnemite right now, besides my Fire-type. Since Magnemite is an Electric-type Pokemon. Eh, I gotta lower my defense, huh? Oh, special defense. Oh, okay. Well, that's not too bad. Oh, you go Charmander! It's super effective. Goodbye, Magnemite. Have a nice life. Where no one cares about you. <laughs> or at least, not from that person. Uh, Magnemite's an alright Pokemon. Never seen anyone who uses a Magneton or anything. So, not too worried about it. I really wish they'd, uh, remake Fire Red and Leaf Green for, like, the 3DS. But they have a... They're doing the remake for the Hoenn region, the third generation game, so that's pretty cool. I just wish they do the same for the first. Because how cool would it be to 
have a serious updated version of this game. You know, this game is updated from the very first generation game, but now this game's outdated. I mean, as far as getting all the Pokemon and whatnot, you can only collect up to three generations of Pokemon. Which I really didn't, I really don't mind, but it'd be cool. Plus, I'd like if they allowed us to have our Pokemon follow us around, like in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And here we get a rare candy. I'll only use the rare candy um, for later in the game when it's harder to gain levels, and for a Pokemon who is hard to level up and needs a lot of experience and has fallen behind significantly, but only after you've done a few battles with it. Then the rare candy is quite useful. So uh, keep that in mind. So let's just keep using Peck, since Peck is super effective against Bug-type Pokemon. And I'm trying to get Nidoran's level up anyways, since he's a... He's a useful party member. I, I love Nidoran. Although I love Nino King even more, but... Let's start out with a Nidoran. I mean, maybe I should have played Fire Red, because... I'll be able to find a middle Nidoran a whole lot easier in that game. Compared to, uh... Well, Leaf Green, obviously, but nah. I really want to play Leaf Green. I mean, that was the one I I got when I was younger. So I always pick one version or the other. I don't. I never get both of them. So I got Leaf Green, and every single time I play Leaf Green, I've always picked the Bulbasaur, because that's what's on the cover, and I like Bulbasaur and whatnot. So for this playthrough, I'm mixing it up a little bit and going with the Charmander, so it's not too bad. I, I like mixing things up once in a while, and I don't mind playing Pokemon Leaf Green, even though I've done a Let's Play on Pokemon Yellow, because you don't get all three starter Pokemon. You don't get Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. You only get to pick one. And so, then your your Pokemon team varies compared to what it was in, say, Pokemon Yellow, or it gave you the option of all three, you know? So, that's the reason why I'm okay with doing another Let's Play on a Pokemon game from the same generation. Like, I'd be okay with doing Heart Gold because there's so much more stuff to do in that game. And whatnot. But, yeah, that's another game for another day. There's a lot of games I want to get around to doing Let's Plays on, and I still need to get around to more of those console games. I've been doing <laughs> emulator games for quite some time. But I'll, I'll get to them at some point. Cool, we got more money! Awesome! Now, since Mount Moon is a really small area, it's, it pays to explore the whole cave, I should say. I mean, I'm probably using all my repels here, that's okay. But, there is a secret items and more trainers if you, uh, take the time to explore. Hey, how are you doing? So, you're Pokemon gangsters. You strike fear with your strength, huh? Oh, doesn't that sound familiar? Okay, doesn't ring a bell. But hey, we got a rocket grunt. With the sand shrew. My Nidoran ain't gonna do me any good against the sand shrew, so I'm gonna switch him out for Butterfree, since that's my uh, best Pokemon against Rock type at the moment. I mean, my other Pokemon won't do me much good. If you have a Mankey, Mankey works good against Rock type Pokemon as well, since Mankey's a fighting type, and fighting types are super effective against Rock type Pokemon. But I don't have a I never, I never bother with Mankey, because I just love Butterfree that much more, so that's why I always go for Butterfree, because... Oh, Butterfree's awesome! Uh, you know, I always wonder if my gaming channel is just gonna die in my own head some one of these days. Or I just don't feel like keep, I keep going at it, like keep working on it and whatnot. Just because there's uh, so many other things I want to do. Like, you know, make movies, make commercials, do movie reviews on public domain movies, make short films that are just funny or intense. God, there's just so many things I want to do, and even videos, well, they're kind of a thing of, of in the past that I've done. I mean, I still do them now because I enjoy them, and I, I know people enjoy watching these, and I enjoy making them, so I, it's kind of a win-win for me in my opinion, but... I don't know. I, I just feel like it's slowly dying, but I'll keep it going as long as possible, and if I hit a big movie or if I need to take a break, I will. That way I don't I get burned out too bad again. Haha, <laughs> you're yeah, you got paralyzed from touching my Pikachu. How do you feel about that? Well, I guess Quick Attack would have worked, but nah. 
I know Thundershock's definitely gonna get him, so... Might as well just go with that. Hey, Rocket Grunt, you didn't really stand a chance! Were you trying, bro? Were you trying? No, you weren't trying, you were failing hard. Here we got a star piece. Not too bad. Figure out what that does later. I mean, I guess I can go into my inventory and see. A shard of a pretty gem that sparkles in a red color can be sold at a high price. So, I need to find the merchant of Resident Evil 4, because it can be sold at the high price. Because he'll buy it at the high price. Ah, uh, Darn. I, I'm going through... Oh, that ain't a repel. I'm going through a lot of repels pretty quick, aren't I? Well, that's okay. What are you doing over here? You're excavating for fossils here under Mount Moon, huh? Oh, really? Well, that's uh, pretty cool. Hey! Hey! Hey, talk to me. Hey, how's it going? It's way bigger in here than you thought. Well, it is a pretty big cave. I mean, the only caves that are around where I live, since I live in the desert and there's lots of mountains, are pretty much abandoned mine shafts. And the one cave I, ended up do, I, I did going into when I was younger, probably like 15, 16, um, let's just say it was just a tiny hole in the wall, like a hole in the mountain side, pretty much. And you walk like five steps and boom, you're at the end of the cave. Yeah, wasn't a mine shaft, wasn't nothing. I don't know why they drilled a hole in the side of a mountain, maybe they were looking for silver or something, whoever did it. Eh, beats me. So it's kind of, uh, yeah, useless. <laughs> Wasn't really much exploring. I snuck out of the house at night. I walked a couple miles to get there, and it was just anticlimactic. <laughs> it was so stupid. Uh, but hey, when you're young, you kind of want to go on adventures and stuff, because, you know, video game characters do, and you want some adventure too. And hey, when you live in a desert, there really isn't much to do, anyways. So there's really no adventure at all. I guess going to a haunted house would be more fun. Okay, so. Just how big is Mount Moon, and how many more rocket grunts are there? Find out next time on Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. Have a good day!